Well, on this episode of Dead End Game Calls TV, we're headed to hunt with Dead End Game Calls road crew member Buck Rivers. He's headed to North Carolina, South Carolina, then he heads out west to Nebraska. Let's see if he can take and bring a couple of long beards down a dead end road. On the first leg of this episode, Buck Rivers is going to try to call in some birds for Mr. Frank and Trey Howie. Let's see if they can get it done on some North Carolina cornfield longbeards. Can you hear the turkeys? 
can you see the turkeys? Hey, don't worry. Your turkeys won't know the difference either. Bring your long beard down a dead end road this spring with dead end game calls. Acceleration is part of PSE's DNA. PSE pioneered the speed movement. Now they've developed the vapor category to help you find the most powerful bows on the market to fit you. High speed equates to intense power and building the momentum you need to be successful. Are you a vapor shooter? Find out at pscarchery.com. Preparation is vital to success. But what is vital to preparation? For hunters, it's a high quality, reliable target. That is why at Walk on Archery, we have spent hours honing our skills and perfecting our methods to help you perfect yours. From practice to play and from play to the stand, we're with you every step of the way. Because we don't just make targets, we make better hunters. So, you wanna bag that big buck? This season, let Khmer Deer stack the odds in your favor. Supercharge your hunt with Corn Co. One box treats 150 pounds. Find him, hold him, put your tag on him. You want results? Corn Coat is waterproof and made up of five different smells that deer absolutely crave. Don't let another hunter bag your buck. Supercharge your corn, grain, or pellets with Khmer Deer Corn Coat. Good job, fellas. Good job. Dead end game calls. Do it every time. Well, Frank, Trey, congratulations on a couple of great, awesome North Carolina Longbeards. Now we're gonna catch up with Buck Rivers as he's got his swackers loaded onto his arrows. Let's see if he can get it done swacker style in South Carolina. This is a hunt that you definitely do not want to miss. How it unfolds is absolutely unbelievable.
What happens when revolutionary brands come together? Now infused with a Limashield, Hunter Safety System introduces the first ever scent control harness. Traditional sprays treat surface odors. Elimashield treats the source. Through heat fusion, Elimashield is bonded to every single fiber, destroying odor for the life of your harness. Only Hunter Safety System keeps you safe and kills human odor while you kill, well, you get the picture. See Odor Die at seeodordie.com. Recently, a series of grueling tests were conducted to show the performance of today's top broadheads. Test one, durability. Swacker shows its toughness. Test two, penetration. Crushes this shoulder blade, cutting 18 inches deep. Test three, extreme angles. Swacker dominates the quartering shot. See how the Swacker performed in all the tests at Swacker.com. PSE Archery has reinvented the way you buy bows. From now on, you can make the most educated decision possible by basing your bow choice specifically on your shooting needs and goals. All you need to do is ask yourself, what kind of shooter am I? What do I want to achieve? PSE will help find the right category for you. So, what kind of shooter are you? Find out at PSEArchery.com. Can you hear the turkeys? Can you see the turkeys? Hey, don't worry. Your turkeys won't know the difference either. Bring your long beard down a dead end road this spring with dead end game calls. Oh, I'll shoot one, but I forgot how I got. I got. Oh, let me shoot one, but you think you can get another air in there? Hold on. Give me two of them. Okay. Oh, baby. <laughs> What'd you do, miss? I did. <laughs> he was running down through them trees. <laughs> That's two big birds. Too. Dead end, baby. That's two big birds with the bow. Bart tried to kill the other one with a gun. He couldn't really get up on him. He shot a couple of times. How many times did you shoot? I said, hold on, he come back. I said, let me hit him with the bow. Show one up. I'm getting better at it. success with this hunt was actually if you got a warm hot day uh, we come in here about 12 30 in the middle of the day you know, pretty hard wood and we just set up we waited we got set up got a decoy out and uh, and that's what we like to do in the middle of the day is just get in a cool spot set up and just do a little calling uh, just sleep a little bit call a little bit but uh, usually dead in calls 
as long as you got some good camo, you know, no man. Uh, I mean, this this one here come together perfect. As long as you got these whackers, broad head, you dead end call, and you no man camo, and the good Lord above, it'll happen every time. Well, Buck, congratulations on a couple of awesome long beards with your Schweiker broadheads. There's one thing I know about a Schweiker broadhead. When you let them fly, it's inevitable something's going to die as long as you hit your mark. You guys, Chris Roseburg here at Dead End Game Calls with the Roadkill Batwing 2. I love this call for its versatility. Soft yelps, clucks, purrs, does it all. The Roadkill Batwing 2, dead in game calls. You'll love it. Well, Buck, he's headed out west to Nebraska. He's watched some lone bears die in North Carolina. He's watched some lone bears die in South Carolina. Now let's see what happens when he heads out west to Nebraska. Fifteen or twenty birds out in front of us, about 150 yards. Dylan's gonna try to call a little bit and uh, try to fan them in real close. So I'm gonna stay with see if we can get it done. See if we can bring them down that dead end road, Nebraska style. I'm gonna stay with us, see if I can get one of the back. Buck, I don't think the jakes are ever going to stop coming in. What's really cool is what happens next when they all jump up on this log.
the brass is style. Well, new for 2018, we've completely redesigned and re-engineered the internal system of our roadblock aluminum calls, giving it a higher pitch, more rasp, and a greater back end. It's a call that truly could do it all. It's just one of those calls that you can't go without in your turkey vest this spring. Check out the sound that we're now getting from our roadblock aluminum. Roadblock Aluminum by Dead End Game Calls, a call that's surely to bring a few long beards down a dead end road. Recently, a series of grueling tests were conducted to show the performance of today's top broadheads. Test one, durability. Swacker shows its toughness. Test two, penetration. Crushes this shoulder blade, cutting 18 inches deep. Test three, extreme angles. Swacker dominates the quartering shot. See how the Swacker performed in all the tests at Swacker.com. Preparation is vital to success. But what is vital to preparation? For hunters, it's a high quality, reliable target. That is why at Walk on Archery, we have spent hours honing our skills and perfecting our methods to help you perfect yours. From practice to play and from play to the stand, we're with you every step of the way because we don't just make targets, we make better hunters. I tell you, we thought these were jakes. Uh, we knew one of them were. Uh, was actually this one. See, you missed both of them. Yep. That's what mm -hmm. And uh, but he's got the full fan, pretty real. And for how close was that? Oh, six eight yards. <laughs> that was pretty sweet. Off the ground. First no day point. here in Nebraska. And off the ground. They come running. Dylan, good job, buddy. Yeah. Good Thank job, you, me too. Thank you. You did a heck of a shot. But he's got a full plan. He's oh, yeah, he first. Does. He ain't got that much fur, but uh, he ain't got much of a beard. But I'm happy with him. Thank you again, buddy. Yeah. Thank you. You know, the three things that I'm most passionate about is my faith in God, my family, and the outdoors. God always tells us through the scripture that he'll give us the desires of our heart. I never would have thought when I was 16 years old and I picked up my first turkey call that it would lead me to the things that it has in life. You know, I've been very blessed that I'm able to take two of my passions, being the love for God 
and a love for the outdoors and make a ministry out of those. It's, it's a blessing to be able to take a turkey call and talk to people about Jesus Christ through it. So my encouragement to you would be to take the things that you're passionate about, whether it's the outdoors, whether it's your family, whether it's your love for God or even me as a firefighter, and take those things that you're passionate about and relate them in a way so that people can see God through you.